today we are going to discuss about global warming one of the biggest challenge on the world so welcome to my youtube channel mechanical engineering management like share and subscribe global warming principle the globe that means earth is heating up both land and oceans are warmer now and temperature are still going upward this temperature rise is called as global warming over the last 50 years the average global temperature has increased at the fastest rate the largest human influence has been the emission of greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide methane and nitrous oxide due to the industrial revolution a recent scenario average surface temperature rose a total of 0.95 degree celsius between 1880 and 2016 The pace of change has been an additional 0.07 degree Celsius per decade with the land surface warming faster than the ocean surface. Causes for the global warming. So burning of fossil fuels like coal and oil releases water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous oxide which are the primary greenhouse gases. so these gases are actually responsible to create the global warming effect carbon dioxide is the most common greenhouse gas today it's about 400 ppm that means part per million that means these number indicate there are 400 molecules of carbon dioxide in the air for every million air molecules so from that you can understand the seriousness of this carbon dioxide global warming occurs when carbon dioxide that means co2 and other air pollutants in the atmosphere absorb sunlight and solar radiation that have bounce off the earth surface that is known as the greenhouse effect so now try to understand the global warming with figure so this is the important figure because of with the help of this figure you can understand exactly why the global warming effects creates so this is the earth surface and this is the infrared radiation absorbed by the earth surface so whatever it may be the infrared from the sun and that is in the form of visible light that is actually impacted on the earth surface and some of the visible light that is directly in the atmosphere and that is absorbed by the atmosphere that is once again redirected to the upward direction and here it is also shown some of the visible light from the sun that is reflected by some of the impurities in the atmosphere and some part of the visible light that is reflected by the earth surface but here the very important part that the infrared radiation from the sun that is absorbed by the atmosphere and some of the part that is actually reflected and some of the part that is actually once again strike on the earth surface and that part is again radiated by the earth surface into the atmosphere and that time some of the portion once again absorbed by the atmosphere and the The remaining part that is actually reflected so each and every time some of the part of the radiation that is absorbed directly by the atmosphere and another portion that is again absorbed by the atmosphere so this portion that creates the cycle and that's why each and every time the ir that means infrared radiation is absorbed by the atmosphere and so that the temperature of the atmosphere will increase and that is called as the global warming now the effects of the global warming so first rising sea levels second more frequent extreme weather such as heat waves third expansion of deserts fourth ocean acidification fifth melting glaciers sixth heavy fall of rain and increasing flooding seven damage or destroy agriculture and fisheries so these are the important effects due to the global warming 
तो थैंक्स माय डियर फ्रेंड्स प्रेस द लाइक बटन टू अप्रिशिएट दिस वीडियो